The Travis County Chief Medical Examiner brought autopsy and toxicology reports to court today to lay out for the jury all the factors that contributed to Javier Ambler's death. At the time of the autopsy, his body weighed 410 pounds. Dr. Keith Pinker testified that Ambler was morbidly obese and had severe heart problems. The cause of death is congestive heart failure and hypertensive cardiovascular disease associated with morbid obesity in combination with forcible restraint. Ambler died after a traffic stop in 2019, escalated into a 20-minute high-speed chase. When Ambler crashed his vehicle, then deputies James Johnson and Zachary Camden used tasers on Ambler while trying to get him in handcuffs. The medical examiner ruled the manner of Ambler's death was homicide because in addition to his severe heart disease, the conditions of his arrest were contributing factors. Because of the struggle and restraint procedures that were happening, all of the events that were occurring immediately surrounding his death, that those actions were simply too much for his heart to take. A ruling of homicide by the medical examiner is different than murder. Homicide includes accidental, reckless, or negligent acts, even if there is no intent to cause harm. Today, defense attorney Ken Irvin asked specifically about the impact of using tasers. Did Mr. Amber die by electrocution? Did he die by electrocution <clears> through <throat> taser? No. During Ambler's arrest, body camera footage shows him telling deputies he had a heart condition and couldn't breathe. Today, the defense brought up previous testimony about Ambler's repeated emergency room trips in the year leading up to his death. The records indicated Mr. Ambler told the emergency room that he at times would become short of breath just from putting on his socks. you recall that? I don't recall that specifically, but that would not surprise me. The medical examiner said there is no way of knowing how much of a factor Ambler's arrest was in his death. Betty Cross, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.